Hey guys, welcome back to the PlayStation Exhibit Hall. We are live here with Matt Higby of Planet Side 2. Hi there. Now, first we have to mention that this is a massive game. Yep. About how many players can actually play the game at one time? Well, on one map, essentially one continent in our game, up to 2,000 players can be playing simultaneously. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So kind of walk us through some of the stuff that we're looking at here. Well, here we're seeing uh, one of the coolest things about Planetside, actually, is that it's a combined arms game. So there's air vehicles, ground vehicles, and infantry combat. So what we're seeing here is some guys rolling out uh, in a pretty massive air armada, it looks like. Wow. Um, there's three different empires in the game. Mm -hmm. Each one has access to unique air vehicles, ground vehicles, weapons, tactics, all that kind of stuff. Now these are the three different factions you're talking about, That's right? exactly right. So when you start the game, you get to choose one of these factions. Exactly. Talk to us about some of the differences between the three. Well, each one kind of has a theme going. Um, the Vanu Sovereignty are the most technologically advanced. The guys we're looking yeah. at here on screen right now are the Terran Republic. They're sort of the most uh, militaristic, organized one of the factions. Um, and they use more of, of sort of what you would expect to see as standard weapons. They actually have things like bullets and bombs, and they use <laughs> lots and lots and lots of bullets. Bullets That's and bombs, whole how theme. boring, right? right exactly. <laughs> well, this is, this is kind of a far future game. So there's there's each one of the empires has their own sort of weapon design. So cool. here we see the new conglomerate, which is one of the other empires, and they use a little bit more experimental weapons, and they're a little bit more scrappy. So they'll use whatever they can get a hold of. And a lot of their weapons and their suits are based on like repurposed mining equipment and things like that. Okay. Um, and then the third one of the empires is the Vanu Sovereignty, and they are, uh, They've kind of been scouring the planet looking for ancient alien technology, and they've incorporated a lot of that technology into the weapons that they use. Wow. So energy weapons, plasma weapons, things like that. So if you really want kind of a sci-fi feel, yeah. they're great for you. If you want kind of a near future or, uh, you know, kind of short-term future type weapons, then the new conglomerate are there. And if you want to be playing game that feels very similar to, like, a modern military shooter, yeah. the Terran Republic weapons are going to kind of give you that feeling. Great. That's yeah. a really good explanation about all three different factions. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> now, is the player stuck with one faction? Like, when you make that choice, that's your choice for the game. When you make, when you choose a character, you're creating character. This is an MMO game, so there's a lot of character investment that goes into it. And, yeah, when you create a character, you're creating a character on that empire. Um, but... You can also create multiple characters. Okay. Um, one of the cool things about it, although it is an MMO game, it's not an MMO game where after you've spent 500 hours playing it, you're gonna be so much better than somebody else. It's a completely competitive AAA shooter. So cool. if you jump in and you're a badass shooter player from, from moment one, you can be competitive with the guy who's battle rank 100 wow. easily. So it's not really so much of a barrier to being able to try the different out, uh, uh, empires out. You cool. can jump in and, and try them and have fun with all. So we've got four different classes. We've got light Six. assault. Six? Six. I only knew four. I knew, wait, wait, so let me know. Right, I got right. light assault, heavy assault, medic, and engineer. That's Who right. am I missing? You got a max and an infiltrator. Okay, so, so tell me a little about those guys. Okay, the max is that huge uh, exosuit that we saw. Uh, they're really big uh, armor suits, essentially. And okay. They have weapons on each arm, and you can put, you can mix and match your weapons too. I mean, the game is very customizable, so you being able to kind of select your role and choose what you're going to do. So with a max, you can put an anti-vehicle uh, rocket launcher on one arm and a wow. gigantic anti-infantry shotgun on the other arm, and sort of be multi-use. Or you can do two gigantic shotguns and be running around, you know, fragging everybody in the room with uh, <laughs> all the infantry, just kill them off. Now, are you stuck to one class throughout the game, like with a faction, or can you kind of switch roles? No, you can completely switch uh, switch classes, and within each class, there's a dozens and dozens of different sort of uh, gameplay roles that you can play as. So the infiltrator, for instance, if you want to, he's kind of the cloaky, stealthy guy, mm -hmm. and he can use sniper rifles, but he can also use SMGs. So if you want to get up, up close and personal, you can use your knife and SMGs and play them that way. Um, you know, get back behind yeah. enemy lines and, 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 you know, really get in their face. Or you can be playing 500 meters away or 1,000 meters away in this game because it's crazy. pretty enormous. We have 64 square kilometer maps. Wow. So you can be sniping from literally a kilometer away uh, to fight against guys. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Now, this game, teamwork is really important. Absolutely. Each time you, t you go onto the game, um, can you enjoy it as a lone wolf or is it really recommended to kind of join up with a vehicle or a squad? You know, you can definitely enjoy it as, as a lone wolf. Uh, there's lots of things that you can do. There's certain classes that are great at it. Like I was talking about, about the infiltrator yeah. being kind of a sniper. That's something you can totally do as a lone wolf. Um, Light Assault's another really fun class to play as a lone wolf because they're highly mobile. They have jump jets so they can get into cool places and, and be able to play. But the coolest thing about Planet Side for me as a game designer is the team play aspects. There's not a lot of other games in the world that allow you to work with hundreds of other players simultaneously against hundreds of other players. Um, the ability for you to actually have that kind of coordination and the level of team play is just completely unprecedented. And it's something that as soon as you get bit by that bug, 
you, it's it's hard for yeah. you to want to go play a different kind of game. <laughs> now we talked a little about ba battle rank. You know, if you're at 100 and someone else coming in at one, how do players increase their battle rank? You just go get get to killing. Um, there's, <laughs> go get to killing. There's like all it. sorts of different activities within the game besides just killing. Yeah. Um, like for instance, you could be a dedicated uh, transport driver. You could spend literally thousands of hours leveling up your ability to be a better transport driver within this game. Wow. So there's so much customizability in there. And all of your ability to do that is based on playing the game. So as a transport driver, things like deploying your transport into a mobile spawn point, every W that spawns there is giving you XP that you can use wow. to help grow your character. So there's ways for you to advance and there's ways for you to become better doing whatever the role is that you feel most comfortable with. If you're not a awesome Twitch FPS gamer, Maybe you play a support class. Right. You know, you could be a medic and run around, and you could be the most important person in your squad without ever firing a shot, just by keeping your teammates alive. Now, each squad within the faction, now when your squad does good, does that help the whole faction? Is the team that, that far advanced? Absolutely. So, I mean, in Planet Side 2, I, I was talking about the continents. Each one of these yeah. little bases that we're seeing here is almost like a capture point on a massive conquest map. So you can have your empire split up into tons of different groups fighting over lots of different territory, and their goal is total conquest of the entire continent. So yeah, if a squad is doing something and captures an area over here, that might help you actually by cutting resources off that you're fighting against these guys. Now they don't oh, have okay. access to tanks because right. the squad on the other side of the map took out one of their bases that gave them access to be able so to use tanks. So capturing the facilities and then blocking resources or gaining resources for your own faction is super important. That's then. exactly right. And it creates a really amazing strategic metagame too, where players are actually looking at how am I going to be able to uh, how am I going to be able to shut these, these guys down? Because I know that when I'm playing against the Vanu Sovereignty, I don't want them to have access to Mag Rider tanks. Because if they have these Mag Rider tanks, it makes my life really difficult as an infantry player. So you can actually make an entire strategy about, okay, tonight what we're going to do, we're going to go all over the map, capture all their mechanized resources, and starve them out so they can't spawn any more tanks. And then we're going to go after this base that they've been defending with tanks all day long. That's so awesome. It is. Any other really cool weapons? And um, that's all we see. We've seen... Fighter jets, we've seen tanks. Yeah, I mean, right what here we, we just saw a uh, one of our bombers. This is a gunship, basically. Wow. So you have all sorts of different uh, underbelly weapons that you can use for it, for taking out infantry, taking out uh, tanks. So, I mean, this is one of those air transports I was talking yeah. about. The person flying this, in fact, on, on the server that I play on, there's a dude who is a dedicated transport pilot, and it's awesome to just jump into his, his uh, galaxy because not only does he fly really close to the ground, he doesn't get shot up as much because he's not flying up really right. high. He always gets you to your destination safely, and he has a really cool-looking, super customized vehicle that you, can, awesome. you can fly around in. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting thing. One of, the, one of the really, really cool things about it, too, is like that player, I know him because it's a persistent gameplay experience. Yeah. Every time I log into my server, I'm playing with the same friends and I'm playing against the same enemies. So you get these like really, really awesome rivalries that form. You'll know that sometimes you see a uh, an enemy outfit, which is a group of players, basically a guild in our yeah. game. You could have an enemy outfit that you know it's just such a pain to fight against these guys, you know? <laughs> so if they're defending this a tower, you might not even want to deal with it. You might just want to, okay, you know what? I know these guys are too good. That kind of relationship and that sort of uh, you know rivalries and camaraderies that you get from a persistent game yeah. like this, especially when it's a shooter, because that creates some pretty oh, visceral yeah, that's emotions. Oh yeah, rivalries there, absolutely. Exactly, it's 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 very unique. All right, well let us know when we can all get our hands on it. Anywhere in a release date? Uh, we're looking around 2014, but you know we're uh, we're gonna get it out to you guys as soon as we possibly can. But if you go to planetside2.com, you can download and play the game on the PC right now. Very cool. And the PC experience is basically what you're gonna be getting on the PlayStation 4, except for it's gonna be maxed out. Yeah. Every single one of the graphics is going to its gonna blow you away. So. Awesome. All right. Well, we're going to get a chance to see what's going to blow you away very soon. Take a look at this trailer. I'm ready to go when you are. Roll them out. All right. Let's roll. We are going to be moving out in 45 seconds. Let's get to the ground. Platoon 2, head towards you. Platoon waypoint. Five minutes until freedom fries reign over Crux headquarters. Yummy. Nice job on that quick loadout. Move out. Squad waypoint. Alrighty, platoon two, grab some armor. Reaver trying to attack our sunny. Command, this is air. Enemy liberators dispatched. It needs a shock and awe. Oh, it's about oh, to get a little busy or not. Moving out in five. Alright, roger that. Three, two, one. Move. Go, go, go. Drop your shield and fire! Sun Graham Station from the south side. Roger that. Better positions. Keep moving into better positions. No, he's right now. He's right now. Go, go, go. Command, this is Shadow 3. We've taken a racks home. Airwing, this is Command. I need you to clear spawns in Bastion. Request airstrike at 273. Platoon 2, I need you guys there now. 
Copy that. Uh, be advised, Command, your wife is a terrible driver, so we're kind of slow. All sections, we have the numbers at the ascent. Just be very aggressive. Get in there. Toss grenades, everything you've got. 